Okay, I'd like to do one more um, example of finding domains and vertical asymptotes just so we can see another sort of scenario that sometimes happens. So what I'm going to do is we're going to find the domain of this function and then we're going to go through and we're going to find vertical asymptotes if there are any. So for our domain we want to take our denominator and set that equal to zero and find those holes. Because this is quadratic, we're going to have to start factoring. Oops, that didn't work out very pretty. So I'm going to factor the x squared into x times x. And let's see, 20, that would give me a 1 in the middle, is probably 5 and 4. And this would be x minus 5, x plus 4, to get us the minus 1 in the middle. So now we would set each one of the factors equal to 0 and continue finding the holes. So x equals 5 or x equals negative 4. These are our holes in the domain. There also are possible or potential um, vertical asymptotes, but we don't know that yet. What we do know is the domain here is the set of x's such that x cannot be 5 and x cannot be negative 4. Now again, these are our potential vertical asymptotes, but we won't know until we actually simplify our function and make sure that this is written in lowest terms. So because the numerator here is a quadratic, I'm going to factor that first. So let's see, that would be x and x, and factors of 8 that would somehow give us a 2 would probably be 4 times 2. It would work if it was a positive 4 and a negative 2. For the denominator, we actually already have that factored. We did it when we looked at the domain. We said that was x minus 5, x plus 4. Now because of this, we have a common factor here of x plus 4. That means that was a removable discontinuity because we could get rid of the problem. In lowest terms, our function would be x minus 2 over x minus 5. We got rid of the problem that was the negative 4, but we didn't get rid of the problem of the x value of 5. So that is not only a, a hole in the domain, but x equals 5 is actually a vertical asymptote for this problem.